With us to discuss all this, Tracy Fanara, inspector, creator of Inspector Planet. Tracy, it's good to see you. I appreciate this. Um, yeah, it's look, good to see you, too. I, we, we, can, we can argue back and forth what, what climate change is and is not responsible for what we can do about it. I am wondering if talking about the really serious issues is somehow sort of easier to laugh off now because there is so much hysteria over everything else of the Earth's rotation and acne and what have you. Well, I will say that extreme headlines are really dangerous. I mean, it makes people think that they can't do anything about climate change when there's so much to be done. I mean, just, I mean, what's the most important thing to you? Like in your life, what is the most important thing? Wow, I, I, I have never had anybody turn the tables just this quickly. Uh, I think I think you would have to say I think you would have to say the, the love of family. But you you talk about there's so much we can do. OK, uh, the Inflation Reduction Act, what President Biden calls the most aggressive, biggest climate change bill ever signed, ever dealt with the biggest climate program to reverse climate change ever in history. A trillion dollars of money that we don't have spent. And in the best case scenario, uh, according to the United Nations climate map model, it would lower the temperature on Earth by a quarter of a degree. And, and everyone keeps saying there, there's so much we can do about it. I'm, I'm wondering if, if that kind of idea isn't part of the problem. I mean, here's the thing. You think a quarter of a degree isn't a lot. You know, like it doesn't sound like a lot, right? Until you look at the impact that just one degree had for a short period of time on coral reefs and how important coral reefs are to our economy and the ecosystem. And the reason why I asked you what the most important thing is is because it's always health. You might not realize it until it's threatened. So it doesn't really matter what your thoughts are on global warming and, and, and climate change. But when it comes to pollution and what's in our air, that's, when, that's where we all can agree that we want cleaner air, cleaner water. Oh, yeah, clean, no, cleaner, clean air, clean water. Clean. Look, they, they, yeah. it, was a Republican who, it was a Republican who did that, um, thinking about Richard Nixon, one of the few decent things yeah, he did. Yeah, he actually but, turned it down, but Congress pushed it through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The cli <laughs> climate, climate is now a culture war issue, and this was in the, the New York Times. True greed is still it's a major true. factor in anti-environmentalism, but climate denial has also become a front in the culture wars, with right-wingers rejecting the science, in part because they dislike science in general, and opposing actions against emissions out of visceral opposition to anything liberals support. And what I'm, I, I keep going back to this part of the culture war is that it's kind of half a sentence, right? Because there's absolutely zero room given to those who say, two years ago we were told, hey, uh, just get a COVID vaccine and you're not going to get COVID. Science changes. Right. There's lots of different explanations for this. And it seems the farther we get down in the discussion about climate, the less humility there is among scientists for how they might be wrong. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because science is always evolving. It's always building on itself. And it's, it's hard to understand that what we understand at one point might just be a jumping point for, for the next phase of understanding. But when it comes to climate change and the amount of decades that it's worked on, I think that we're seeing people double down so much because we're just getting more and more in evidence, more and more evidence that shows our contribution to climate change. But I don't think it's fair to say that that Republicans don't don't support, you know, science and climate science, because I, I haven't found that to be true. Um, I, you know, like I've I've found that especially in Florida, when where environment impacts us so, so acutely every right. single day, our economy depends on it. I mean, yeah, we all come together when it comes to environment. All right. It was I good mean, seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you very much. You, you said it. You said it about. You said it about health. Uh, there, there's something to that. I can, I can yeah. vouch for that. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.